less than a week away from the return of Indiana Jones on the big screen. Harrison Ford is back in the title role 15 years after the last installment. This morning, ABC contributor Kelly Carter is taking us on an epic adventure through the legendary legacy of Indiana Jones. It's the action adventure film franchise that first took audiences to new heights in the summer of 1981. I hate snakes, Chuck! I hate them! Now, four films... That's why they call it the jungle, sweetheart. And more than 40 years later, Indiana Jones is back. I'm retiring. Well, in that case, what are we drinking? Same for the goddaughter. Fifth and final film starring Harrison Ford whips into theaters next weekend. Indy's long awaited return to the multiplex, coming just weeks after the movie's premiere at the Cannes Film Festival. Being in that room, you saw everything erupt. You saw Harrison Ford get emotional, which I think we haven't seen of him before. Ford first donning that iconic fedora just four years after his career hit light speed, flying the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy as Han Solo in Star Wars. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Indiana Jones giving the eventual Academy Award nominee top billing, the character appealing to generations of moviegoers, university professor by day, turned tomb raiding archaeologist. You call this archaeology? He made science cool, but also it dealt with myths, but also things that deal with faith, a lot of biblical references. We do not follow maps to bury treasure, and X never, ever marks the spot. A really good looking, cool guy doing science. He was just all about swag. He was just about this confidence, this swag. He could fight, but he wasn't a superhero. So any of us could, in theory, be Indiana Jones. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. After Raiders came the star-studded sequels, shining bright with Oscar winners from Kate Blanchett to Kiwi Kwan to Sean Connery. Dead! Oh, dead! Ah! Carving out a lasting legacy and fan base few other films have achieved, including making a mark on actual archaeologists. It's safe to say that you probably never had to outrun a boulder. Never doubt to run a boulder. Every kid in my school wanted to become an archaeologist. Did the academic programs notice an uptick in the interest in the field of study around that time? I know a lot of people who, who went into archaeology or, you know, other fields like that, studying things in the past. The series of movies had had an influence on a, a lot of people. I want to be a good archaeologist. You got to get out of the library. And as Indiana Jones sets out on one last adventure, fans are sure to keep this archaeologist's name in the history books. You look back and you say, this movie still holds up, it's still funny, it's still action-packed, and it can still do something to your cinematic soul. And I've been looking for this all my life. For Good Morning America, Kelly Carter, Los Angeles. Can't that wait. Song, that All right. Music. All right. Thanks to Kelly Carter for that. Uh, Gio, you wanted to be an archaeologist after watching those movies, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, I actually studied anthropology. Really? Yeah, in college, I studied anthropology. So I just like, I'm always been obsessed with things. Okay. We got to get Learning you to study acting. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.